He's on you. Speed, speed, speed. Maintain, maintain. Oh. And there he is. Look at that. Third time he hit it, dude. Third time he hit it. I, I was like, oh, I'm out of room. Fantastic. I'm out of room. I'm going to screw this up again. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. All right, so we got a couple tog. Got my first sheephead, beast of a sheephead. Monster. Tides have changed, started to slow down, so we're gonna switch gears and go after some striped bass. Now he said that the, the wind's not right, the tide's not right, really nothing's right, but we're gonna go give it a shot, see if we can't get on some of these fish. Let's do it, bro. Right. He said we're gonna go topwater fish in two feet of water here in New Jersey, and I was like, what is this guy talking about? Like, what do you even mean? And I mean, it was like fishing the flats in Texas or Florida. It was just like that. Yeah. Except for a totally different species. Yeah, absolutely. But... And, and, the, and the key to that was is that um, the clean water. You gotta find clean water. And once we found that water, there was fish there. There they were. Now, also, too, were important when we got on that flat, you know, seeing those southern rays on there. Yeah. Watch this. There's massive, big boys, big round rays. You know, when they're on a flat and when you see fish like that, be it in Florida or up here in the mid-Atlantic Northeast, it's a great indicator of what's on that flat. So those those southern rays are up there. Uh, they're eating mostly crab, mostly blue claw. Yeah. So, and blue claws follow the food chain. They're sure. out there, not really scavengers, they're out there hunting. And so once you see those rays, it's an indication of there's life now on that and flat. And you said, you were like, you see the rays, there's gonna be fish in the area. And that's when we started hooking up, was after we saw the rays. Absolutely. And we're gonna be throwing Rapala skitter walk. He says, Gold is the money. Let's see if we can get on him. I think it wasn't, it wasn't like it. Oh, go, go, go. Okay. Oh, he just came again, dude. Look at figure eight. Figure eight. No way, oh, bro. Here's a nice fish. That was a nice fish. I was just out of room. I didn't know what to do. I just like panicked. They're a sign of a, let's keep going. Don't stop. I have my, I'm filming. That's my, in, oh. my instinct to, uh... there we go. There we go. Nice, dude. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, way to bring that back there, dude. Straight bass on the flats, man. Gold skitter walk. It's midday, bright sun, dead low tide, in a foot of water. Got him. Beautiful. Look at that, man. Woo. So much fun. Awesome. Nice, healthy striper. I mean, not a monster, but out here, foot and a half water, catching them on top water. Cannot beat that. Oh, dude, that is a blast. That's bro. awesome. He Look how well they blended. Gone. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Immediately, even though it's this shallow, this clear. It disappeared. Perfectly camouflaged. If nothing there, you're gonna go even wider. You know, strong currents are different. It'll draw them in tight. I'm fouled on the Oh, I just saw it. Dan here on the pole. Definitely the hardest working guy on the boat. So this point right here, when I say point, is like the first jut out. Yeah, I could tell he was just fine. Can't beat top water, and there he goes. Dude. I actually hit the pocket, and I mean, it was like five, six twitches, and then boom, nailed it. Just, I mean, yeah, you called that perfect. Dude, nice, bro. Now you're gonna aim for the left side of the island. I'll get you in position here. Good, there you go. Speed, speed, speed. Can't go any faster. <laughs> pop it up for one second, dude. Go, go, go make another cast. I mean, a swirl. There you go, good. I'm not sure how big he was, but it was uh, something behind you. Now there's gonna be one hanging off that second point too, man. Sure. It's a lot of current going by there. Got a bass behind you, go. Speed. Still behind you, go. Oh, Still God. behind you, he's on you. Oh! He took it under, I thought he had it. Yeah, man. Ah, <laughs> I thought I had his ass. That was a, that was a Bill Dance, uh, Bill Dance move there, dude. You were like, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go cherry and just lean back in it. <laughs> My fly angler is like hooking me in the face all the time, dude. Yeah. yeah. This is the nature of fly casting. Dude, and that striper hit this. I was steady reeling it in. Did you see that? I know. The man. first time it hit, I was just. I was you know done. what I was telling you that one time about like, you know, last 50, the last 30 feet just accelerate and get back in. Yeah. A lot of times that's. The, he, that's might been, he, he might have been under you, and then when you went fast. That's when he went, that's what, I mean, that's, like, you had to be what happened. It's gone, it's gone, yeah. and then boom, wax it. Kicks so a lot of times it, it pays to kind of like that last 
you know, yeah. something like really behind you. Yeah. Get it in, a lot of times it'll trigger a strike. So I'll tell you what, I really had no idea what to expect here in Jersey, but pulling on the flats, definitely not in my wildest dreams, but I think that's how I'd be fishing up here. But that's exactly what we're doing today. Lots of parallels and similarities to Texas and Florida fishing the flats. Basically fishing a big grass flat right now. It's a foot deep. So this is actually in my comfort zone. Go left, right in that pocket. Yeah. Said right in that pocket and there it was. <laughs> he exploded on it, dude. Who smokes? Oh gosh. Oh yeah. I'm gonna loosen that drag a little bit. Just a tad. Because he's going his own way. Yeah, he's he is. Oh, look at that. He ain't bad, dude. Solid fish. He's not bad. You called it. You said right in that pocket. <laughs> right in that pocket. First cast. Oh, dude, decent yeah, fish. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he, yeah, He didn't turn on yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could tell. He was just fight. <laughs> he was like just swimming at me. Oh, dude, solid You're not gill plate either. He's, he's pretty good. Solid one, bro. Yeah, sometimes you get gill plates and they're pretty tough, but you got them right in the mouth. Dude, that was cute. Nice he exploded on it. He's not bad. Solid fish. This might be my new personal best. You think so? I mean, he's close. You got two of them today. Yeah. Well, the sheep head was like miles ahead of my previous. Oh, there's no, yeah. there's no sail cats around here, so I don't know if I can top <laughs> top three. Oh, he ain't done. Oh, he's beautiful. Dude, great fish, bro. Yeah, he didn't like that. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Boom, bro! Oh, so much trouble with that guy getting him in the boat. Oh, dude, he's even bigger awesome. than I realized. You see how brown he is? Yeah. So he's been here a while. So that's the ones that live up here in the in the bay, like Absolutely. in these shallows. Absolutely, man. Yeah. It's like they're getting more sun. It's got a little yeah. tan going. Oh yeah, dude. It's a real and milk and nice still shot, bro. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's the color of these guys when they kind of enter the bay. Look how big the tail is. Yeah, it's man. That's where you get their power from. They are just such fun fish, dude. Beast, dude. So strong for their size. I, I like when he hit, I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. But yeah, pulling. Yes, yeah, so they take on a brown hue when they get into the back bay for a while. That's interesting. They lose that like that iridescent silver right. color, and they saw the purple on their sure, sides. Sure. And his pigment's a little bit light. Beautiful, dude. Yeah. He exploded yeah, he, no, he took that. on it. That's the way you want to hook those guys, man. That yeah, was... those big ones don't fool around. Yeah, no, there was no like missing it. Nah. He inhaled it, bro. Top water striper fishing in two feet of water. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. It's a thing and it's a blast. Makes sense, man. Just methodically working yeah. your way down the points. Well, one silver. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. So those bigger ones like that, they're. The other one was like silvery. Yeah. This guy was brown, been here a while. He's yeah, running solo. Kind of his own thing. Oh, that was rad, dude. I like that. He's on you. Speed, speed, speed. Maintain, maintain. Oh. And there he is. Look at that. Third time he hit it, dude. Third time he hit it. I, I was like, I'm Fantastic. out of room. I'm out of room. I'm gonna screw this up again. Yep. All right, you well, kept got, coming for it. You got uh, four species today. That's a bluefish. That's a bluefish? I believe so. Ooh. Yeah. Blue, a bluefish. I think you're right. Oh, yeah. Oh, there yeah, is. dude. Yep, yep. Well, power on that tail, man. Dude, they're strong fish, yeah, man. They're aggressive. I. There's they're so they're many, a lot of fun. So many trash fish that I'm like, y'all are crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't, dude. What four times? Was that the fourth hit? Yeah. Finally, I finally stuck him. Yep. And I was out of room. I mean, that was like the last shot yeah. I had at him. Look at this guy, dude. Yeah. For his size, they're so strong. Come on. Oh, he's got some pretty colors on him. Look at him. Look at his fins. Beautiful, dude. It's like you don't think of bluefish as like a. Yeah, beautiful, some are very pretty. It's like a beautiful fish, but oh, yeah, yeah, he's beautiful. They got pinks in them. See the pink? Almost like a salmon, almost yeah, like. Yeah, dude. Yeah, they got pinks in them, and they got this. Oh yeah, they got teeth. Bluefish, fourth species of the day. Too much fun, dude. Watching this thing smack yeah. at it three times, miss it, miss it, miss it. Then he finally got it in his mouth right at the boat, out of time, and there he was. Yeah, gnarly teeth. I'm not even gonna try to show him. <laughs> That's a recipe for <laughs> losing a finger. Yeah. There you go. Awesome, Dude. Man. Bro. So much fun, man. They get really competitive. Dude. Killer day, bro. I think we cover ourselves in glory today. <laughs> I think we have, man. We were worried about the conditions. I mean, you know, he was like kind of warning me, don't get your up too much. It's not, nothing's lining up right. Uh, I think it lined up just fine. It was amazing. So I pick him up. 
and we're just getting about the tail end of the outgoing tide. And uh, first spot we go to, he hooks a 10 pound sheep's head. <laughs> so. Monster, which if you guys saw my other sheep head episode went the opposite, it's been 10 hours, didn't get a fish. We're in New Jersey, so it's a fish like that for me is actually very representative of this area. But it seems you like know, the bigger boys are the ones that come this far north. Seems and like. that's exactly what we needed today. Yeah. Was one of those bigger fish uh, to give a fair representation of New Jersey's fishery. And I mean, the two taw taws, like I know they were small and you were like, ah, they're tall. They were small, but they were- but I was stoked to catch them. Yeah, they and they're going. As a no, no, no. And, 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 they were, and they were a passion of mine um, for quite some time. And they get very large and, right. they, and they get very abundant. Yeah, it, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was good to get to see them. Yeah, Because totally. of, the, of their different mouth structures and just the way they're built. And it's that's my favorite neat, thing. New it's species. a very neat fish. I love learning about new species, getting to see them, put my hands on them. The way we were rigging those crabs, I've never done and I never would have thought to do, and it worked great. What we did with the jig heads is this, is that we wanted to make something that was completely balanced in case it's on the bottom. There's anti-roll in there, perfectly machined. And they come in four different colors, lead, white, chartreuse, pink. Today we're just using the lead. Lead's great because lead's neutral. So bottom sweeper jig guys, check them out, Tackle Direct. You can find a link down in the description. And then the striper thing, we totally switched gears. He said we're gonna go top water fish in two feet of water here in New Jersey. And I was like, what is this guy talking about? Like, what do you even mean? And I mean, it was like fishing the flats in Texas or Florida. We made great out of um, not so great conditions. It made was- the best uh, of it, dude. Yeah, it made, made the absolute best of it. Um, took our time and yeah. really picking your spots i mean you were like we're gonna bypass this we're gonna bypass it okay fish that you know yeah. it was very obvious that you knew this place like the back of your hand you knew where to where to yeah fish. and that's and, and that's and that's local knowledge um all these techniques can be applied no matter where you go sure insomnia guide service look them up where are you on facebook insomnia guide service is on facebook instagram and insomnia guide bottom sweeper jigs on facebook and bottom sweeper jigs on instagram Perfect. So check out a bunch of links in the description. Check this guy out. If you find yourself in the New Jersey area, cannot recommend this guy enough. I mean, everyone I talked to was like Dan Schaefer. He's the guy to go with. You got to get out with him. I don't know if you know that your reputation around here definitely precedes you. And dude, you lived up to it, man. Humbly. Couple, Thanks, man. Couple tog, stud sheephead, couple striper, bluefish. I mean, on a bad day, like it was yeah. a killer day. Dude. Killer it turned day. out to be a killer yeah. day. Awesome, man. Too much fun, dude. Great having you, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it.